We're here today at the Equity Pre-Conference, part of the Leadership Summit. And equity and equality are not the same. They are fundamentally different. But we talk about them, we use them interchangeably in our field, okay? which is one of the problems that we face with really building classrooms and schools and systems that are truly community responsive. We had Jeff Duncan Andrade, and Jeff is um, a former teacher. He still teaches, but he's now kind of leading a school of his own to change outcomes for kids. This is my first opportunity to see him live, and I've read and, and you know seen his TED Talks, and it was excellent how he took the, the concepts or the theories behind equality and equity and broke it down into what that means in regards to doing actual work in schools. I love the conversation he had uh, directly regarding Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Amaru is constantly thirsty. Tayari is constantly hungry. In the framework that we built, we got the kid who's hungry, we got the kid who's thirsty, okay? and we do that. Is that equal? With the 10 organization, we basically pick up where Jeff leaves off in his keynote experiences. So we like to be able to have folks get inspired by what Jeff is saying and then have something to act upon when they leave. The power of the workshops is that it allows all of us to think twice and to think more deeply about the work that we're doing for all kids. Understanding the power of equity in our schools, understanding the institutional racism that sometimes prevents students of all colors from getting the things that they need in order to be successful in the school, which includes things such as access to the curriculum, access to the resources that school provides and also to make all teachers and administrators aware of how important it is to get to know the kids. We need to look beyond the data in order to understand what our students need in terms of um, not just making decisions because they're ELLs, because they haven't been reclassified, um, because they're not proficient. So what do they need individually in order for them to succeed? I hope they leave with an inventory of where they are in the larger picture of their district or their school, their guiding documents, their strategic plans, their goals, their mission statements, and assess to what extent is that an, an environment that's going to facilitate uh, students being served equitably. What I learned today reaffirmed for me the work that I've been doing in the field, and that has to do with the process in terms of how we teach and to focus on on the environment in the classroom and the relationships and, and creating that safe place to be able to get to the business of learning. It's been an excellent experience. It, it's one of those moments that kind of uh, take you back and remind you of why it is you got in this business to begin with. And it's, it's kind of a, a conscience tugging moment that it really, it, it, it really helps to kind of get you grounded again in what it is we're really supposed to be doing.